Hey, I'm back at it again. I think I was on the wrong connection. Sorry, guys. Bling it on. This is what we're going to be doing today. Bling it on with simple ombre. What do you guys think? Um, I, I should go live and ask what you guys want me to do. You want to use your phone instead of his? Yeah. What, what do you guys think? Look at these rhinestones. Bling it on. Wow, beautiful. Okay, let's get started. Let me go ask for that as well. So, so let me show you guys again. The Bling It On collection. Can you guys tell me what's your favorite color block with <laughs> glitters? Hey, we've been doing the color block with glitters. Okay, let's, let's show. Okay. I think I feel so bad for my YouTube watcher because you guys been with me through the since I have dial up internet. You guys been with me. So this is my new favorite thing, the um bling it on. Come on, come on, look at this. Imagine doing a whole set of these with the bling it on. Yeah, I was just on Facebook Live. Yeah, so I've been using dial up internet with the plug in and that's been so slow so finally i think we finally got the right connection for my room because um i'm gonna use my favorite color today give it a little bit love tap what you guys want to see oh color block with the gold did i do that i i did that already didn't i i did milky white again color block with glitter is that what you guys saying i love don't threaten me with some good time with the color blocking. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's get started. We good? Yeah, we're good. Connection's good. Quality's good. How are you guys today? Let's start out with my favorite finger. She said color blocking. Color blocking again? Are we doing color block again? Let's do a quick ombre on this thumb. So this is Milky White M, I mean OG 101. Wow, comments are coming in fast. Yeah, except for the phone is in my way. How did I do it earlier? You can move it. Unplug it real quick. Okay. Okay, you guys ready for some cute ombre on this one? I'm going to show you guys the easiest ombre with the color uh, OG 102. Pick up your bead of your milky white. Put it on the nail. Hold it in place for a second. Let go, push it back in the center, flatten this top area. Flatten this top area all the way down to the bottom of the nail. Apply a little bit more pressure as you go down, okay? Cut it off. And look at this milky white. Okay, and then I'm gonna ombre it down with this one o uh, one o two. This is our favorite nude to ombre. I love the quality of this the video quality is really nice of this live mm -hmm. 
Even better than Facebook's. What do you guys think of this two color ombre? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I'm gonna add a little bit at the cuticle. Nails by Tisa is such a pretty nude. Lisa said smooth. What is the smooth like? It's smooth like butter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's do some color blocking, she said. Should we do like a like a V? Like a like a slanted? How should we do it? Oh, oh, oh no, it's drying up. What should I do? Okay, I'm just gonna block this part out. I'm just gonna give her like a little bit of a glitter on the side. I'm I'm dipping my um exacto knife in the monomer, okay guys? For a cleaner cut. Wow, that dries fast. That's why when you guys do color blocking, make sure you guys know um what you cut in cuz sometimes you wait to find the right cut the product might dry too fast especially when it's hot how you guys like that tristan said i like that v almost like a v but almost like cut. a v it's like a slanted cut Okay, and whatever's sticking out, we can use a little hand file to get rid of it. Super easy, right guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, Abby said, so crisp. Linda said, amazing. Leslie said, love it. Anastasia said, I like it. You yes. like it? I love it. It's amazing. Let's do this lover and friends. Ooh. <laughs> hey, they having a music fest called lovers and friends yes i think it's fake you think it's fake i don't know if it's real or not there's some artists on lovers and friends that apparently said they're not gonna do it they didn't know about it isn't that crazy um that sound like fire fest mm -hmm. it does it was a good lineup too good to be true or what it is too good to be true leah said beautiful color Jules says, I love the colors. Thank you, Jules. You like this color? So this is going to be a lovers and friends. I like how it looks in the box, in the container. Don't overlap it on top of the nude, okay, guys? Because we want to encapsulate it. This is cute. Mm -hmm. I like to work in like small section. Sandra said, look at that glitter. T Pretty says that glitter is fire. So beautiful. And then we're gonna encapsulate it with crystal clear powder. That's fun. Look at that. I'm going to encapsulate that with crystal clear powder. Guys, do not let me get sidetracked, okay? Because I have something in mind to do. And I always end up straying from what I'm doing. Make sure the bead is a little bit runny. So you can ombre it down like this. Oh no, we have a little bit of glitter stuck. What do you guys think of that clear ombre? Beautiful. 
Mona said beautiful. Okay, hang on really still for me real quick, Kishana. Your elbow is not on the table. Mm -hmm. So it's shaking. Okay, let's stabilize her, her elbow on the table. Because when your client don't have their elbow stabilized on your table and they're just hanging off the table, it's really hard for you to work with as well, okay? Don't you guys love that? That's so pretty. Heaven said, I can pay attention now that I'm out of work. Oh, why? Were you watching us earlier at, at work? Oh, there you go. Jai said, New Panther is my favorite too. Yeah. Okay, so... I always remind people when we have our powder sitting in our room and it's super hot, make sure we give it a little stir or else the powder is going to be really hot and then it's going to be really dry to work with. Okay. And I tend to forget that and then I'll be struggling a little bit. Okay. What should I do on this middle ring finger? What do you guys want me to do? I'm gonna wait for you guys to answer that. So I'm gonna encapsulate her, um, her these two fingers. Melinda said, you are a great teacher. I'm getting all your tips. Yeah, are you? Cece said, bling it out. T Pretty says, marble. Marble? Everybody likes marble. Everybody asks for the same thing. I, I just don't want to do the same thing over and over because I don't want you guys to get bored with me, you know? I'm like, she do the same thing over and over again. I said, a whole lot of glitter and bling finger. Uh, Tristan oh said, my gosh, great with pink. The other person said marble. Marble? Or full glitter. Okay. How How's the. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm so sorry. It was good. It's a, okay, right there. Perfect. My The, the handle of my brush keep hitting the. Um, the phone. The phone. So I was struggling. Milk, milky ombre? Okay. Uh, I mean, that's kind of simple. I'm going to encapsulate this real quick. Blend it in, blend it in at the top. Hold it in spot. Three color ombre, 3D nail art. Put some bling on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what was my whole purpose is showing you guys the bling it on. And then I end up doing a lot of not bling it on. I'm gonna tap it to bring it back up a little bit. So there's like no dip anywhere. Okay, and I do have a little bit of acrylic stuck to my brush. Uh, Marissa said, white marble with gold foil on negative space. With gold? Mm -hmm. Okay, so marble will be white with clear and gold. I really hella crazily done this nail. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> 
okay so let me just even this out a little bit more Bear with me for a second, guy. I uh, I think I kind of messed up on this nail a little bit. Okay, let's move on. This one, we want marble. Yeah. I'm going to tap it back, up, back to make sure it's even. Okay. We're going to encapsulate this one as well. So we want clear marble on this one. Clear and white. Mm -hmm. Alexa says, hey, just joined. I use a glow powder of yours today, actually. Wow. How do you like it? Do you like the glow? Uh, Tristan, back to your question. He said, by cleaning with acrylic liquid and passing on paper towel. And Shalise said, soak in Monmer to get acrylic out of brush. I know, but the problem is, guess what? I lost one of my brush, so I have only this one to work with right now. So when I do get acrylic on it, I'm stuck. But yeah, anytime we get um, powder on your brush, make sure we um, soak it in a monomer. Oh, so much better now that my brush is a little bit clean. Are you guys doing fall nails yet? Shalise said yes. We are doing fall nails. Yeah, you see how much more smooth once that I got my brush kind of clean up a little bit. Working with a dirty brush is a pain in the ass okay do not even try to do that if your brush is dirty really really try to clean it okay. before uh, alexa said um your glitter collection is gorgeous from the uk and didn't know it was sold here but uh, she was wondering why the client says it burns at times so what happened let me encapsulate this is what i talked to him so what happened when the uh, acrylic gets hot is when you guys pick up your bead one it's like the um the powder to um liquid monomer it's really off it can cause a heat spike actually so that's what it's called a heat spike right it's kind of like gel where you get heat spike and um it does happen the inconsistent of the um powder to um monomer ratio could cause that or um if your client have thinner nail beds and you are applying it on a thicker bead of acrylic can cause it to get a little bit hot, the heat spike to happen. Um, and what else? What else can cause it? I think that's, that's the main cause in the heat spike in the acrylic. And how do you fix that is as soon as if your client say, oh, this is getting kind of hot, what do you do? Anybody know? The answer? Anybody can help her out with the answer? Waiting for a response. It's a very common common thing that um, happens. It doesn't happen to everyone, but it does happen to some. Like to myself, sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. Usually it happens when I'm doing a brand new set because I have more product on my nail, yeah? Especially when I do one bead application, it gets kind of hot. 
Um, anybody have the answer for me or should I say it now? How do we fix that? Alcohol? I have two way. First, A fan. <laughs> no. no. Nobody's answering me? Uh, so far I got alcohol, acetone or alcohol. Yeah, alcohol really helps. will cool it instantly. And what you can do is when you go working on a new set, you can, so when it gets hot, right? When the client's fingers get a little bit hot from the heat. So what you can do is spray alcohol on it and it will take it away instantly. Or before you work on the nails, you can apply a thin layer of powder like this, really thin. Really thin. You see how thin this is? Mm -hmm. That will actually helps a lot too. It's kind of like when you guys do a gel builder, if you apply like a thin layer of gel on the nail first before you work on your um, thicker bead of product on top, it will help with the heat. Okay, so you either um, spray some alcohol to kill it instantly or do a thin layer, layer of, of your clear base and then work on top of it, it will help with the heat spike. All right. So Hopefully that answers it, your it goes for both. It goes for either um, gel gel builder when you're working on a gel builder or when you're working on um, acrylic. Okay, so somebody want marble on this one, right? Marble. Okay, okay. Should we do clear and pink marble? Oh, clear. So, clear and pink or pink glitter marble would look cute. Pink and clear marble? Okay, pink. Okay, let's try this, guys. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up. Let me, I don't, let me try this way. So, this way is actually, it doesn't work that well. So. Make sure your bead is really wet. So I'm gonna do a clear on top of this. Runny. So, I mean, it's really hard to see, huh? Uh, Tisa, do some line art too. This glitter, this ombre is um. That's all right. I'm just gonna finish it up real quick. So I'm gonna add glitter clear on it. Lisa said, add some white. No, I think I'm. What I'm gonna add on top of this is um. Heart. Oh, so here's a clear of how it looks now. Mm hmm. So I want to add some hearts to it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet my brush and then pick up the heart. Pick up some clear. I should. I should have been like. I should just wait till I go on live and have you guys pick out the color and the design because that's what I seem to do, right, Shauna? Yeah. I you can put um, a poll. Yeah, I should have you guys just pick it because no matter what I do, I always end up doing design upon request. Mm -hmm. You put a poll on your Instagram, people can choose one of that. I think. Yeah, for real. Mm -hmm. What you guys been doing since I, I haven't been live on here in a long time. So I'm adding a little. Everybody's just like thinking about this nail right now. It's coming out beautiful. Is it? It is. So you got to know how to improvise, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wanted me to do that pink glitter. I'm like, sure, why not? But now this is cute. You guys like that?
then we're gonna encapsulate it it's been really really hot so i always do two beads application if you guys haven't noticed two bead application really helps especially in, during the hot hot summer the hot girl summer yeah i don't <laughs> think there was a hot girl summer this year was there it's pandemic i think it's starting people are still going out though mm. Hey, are you guys still on lockdown over there? Where where you guys are at? Mm. Alexis asked, when you first started doing nails, did you beat yourself up about the set not turning out as great as you wanted to? I feel like my client was just being polite. Oh yeah. I've been doing nails for like what? Mm -hmm. 12 years. And I still beat myself up sometimes when the set like I, I still do actually and back to your other question she also said nope not in the uk no lockdown but uh Shalice said no but we need to be on lockdown and melinda <laughs> said no lockdown in new york city and not in texas nobody's in lockdown anymore yeah i thought other country was oh you know what mm -hmm. my poor country is on lockdown in vietnam vietnam is getting hit so hard guys I, I don't know what's going on with the world, but pray for the world, please. Pray for the world. We, we, we're hitting with a lot of disaster. Okay, so this is encapsulated nice and well. You have to have a vaccine to party now. Did you hear that? A lot of um, venues are requiring you to get your vaccine or a show proof of vaccination to go to events. Really? Yeah. I'm going to Cosmo Prof in Vegas soon. How you guys like that? I wonder if they're gonna require me to have my vaccination. I am vaccinated, but I think I got one more shot to go. <laughs> you like that? Look. So, you guys want some line works with this as well? It's so much faster when you only gotta do four fingers. <laughs> Never cut mangoes, guys. Mangoes. I love mangoes, though. <laughs> we all love mangoes. Mango okay, let's pre shape. Yeah. Yeah. yeah guys when you guys first start doing nails don't beat yourself up too much there's a lot of time I, i've done set of nails where i still like the um i could have it could be better there's always room for improvement you know that right we're never too good to learn actually i did a set yesterday i didn't like but good thing it was on myself. <laughs> do you do your left hand now? No, I don't. What do you guys struggle with most when doing acrylic nails? That's a good question. A lot of people are learning how to do line work. Oh. Um, some people have problems e-filing. You know, the best practice you can get with e-filing is on yourself. Really? Mm-hmm. Because um, you can kind of see, you can kind of feel the speed and see, um, you know, kind of be in tune with the, 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 the Dremel. Uh -huh. So when you work on yourself, like you end up cutting yourself or you go too fast and it get hot, you can kind of know and understand that so when you work on your client, you have, you know, uh -huh. the understanding of that. And it, it helps you really to try to improve yourself when you're working on other people. Yeah. A lot of people said they have, um, app they struggle with application too. The shaping, laying it smooth the first time. I think it just all takes practice. It takes practice and a lot of things play a big factor in that. Like me... I 
I can, you know, lay a pretty good bead and pretty smooth bead. But earlier, I felt like I was struggling, especially with this finger right here. You know why? Because one, I had acrylic on my brush. Two, my powder was stored in my hot ass room for so long that I just opened it and try to work right on top of it. That, what I should have done was when I opened the jar, I should have stirred it up to make sure I distributed the heat in the jar e evenly in the box, in the, in the, in the, in the jar so that my, my powder is not so hot just on the top, making it super dry to work with. And secondly, my brush was stuck with acrylic on that on it so i should have soak it off wait soak it off and work with a really nice smooth acrylic brush so there's a lot of things you know a lot of factor into um laying your powder on smoothly practice and make sure do you have the right tools or you have the right product it's sometimes it's just a lot of things come into play that maybe hey maybe that brush is a size say 18 that you're working with maybe that brush not working out for you maybe switch it up and try a different size mm -hmm. hey maybe that monomer felt like it dried way too fast for me maybe it's not me but what if that was a fast setting monomer that i need to switch to something a little bit more slow setting have you guys take that to consideration like there's a lot of things maybe sometimes it's just not all you you know right shauna yeah it could be different factors for sure mm-hmm but this is pretty smooth already very smooth so i always look at it at both angles Don't move, don't move, don't move. Okay, hold on, hold on. You see what happened when um, sometimes it slips? There you go. So, but you gotta have a steady hand so when your clients pull away from you, they don't end up cutting themselves like that. So when working with the e-file, if your clients tend, they, if they tense up a little bit where their fingers just stick straight out like this and it doesn't move like curve with your uh, bit, sometimes your bit will end up bouncing off the nail like that. So make sure you bend the client's finger as you work your way down, okay? She just had my palm. That's the only thing, my struggle. Your what? That's the only thing she struggles. What, what? No, with the, the filing. Oh, make sure you stabilize your hand as well, okay, when you guys e-file. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys, this two, this two fingers had to be really, and it's, I'm, I'm at an awkward position too. Okay. Make sure you always stabilize your right hand against your left hand. With painting, with the Dremel, with everything. And go when, when I'm following the top of the nail, I'm actually going in circle. Kind of like circle, circle, circle all the way down. Does that make sense? Circle? Yes. How do you cut down on time? Application. Nice smooth application helps. E following the shape rather than hand following everything helps. How do you guys cut down on time? No one answer? 
waiting for a response. Uh, John Jay said, yes, application has improved my time. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, definitely application. Application definitely helps. Hey, you guys remember when I went live with the press sit on here? Did you guys learn anything or because of such poor connection, we did not learn anything from that live? Oh, Patricia asked circles, but going one way, right? Circle going one way. Hold on, let me, let me stop it real quick. So start around the cuticle, right? Cuticle, circle. So bring it around back yeah one way one way you see that like how you can let me see yeah like circles not like super round circle but like more of a slanted circle okay. does that make sense more of a, like a slanted circle like at almost an angle or maybe on top will be fine too i like to work at an angle so circle 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 yeah i'm not i'm not going back like this i'm not doing this I'm not going back and forth like this. I'm not going back and forth. If you guys think you're going like this, don't go like this, okay? Circle, 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 circle. Does that make sense? Sometimes I feel like the way I'm explaining it, it's like it makes sense in my head. Does that make sense to you, yes, Shauna, as a non-nail tech? It makes sense to me. It makes sense to Marissa. It makes sense to Deja. Yeah? Can okay. you see it on there? I can see it. I can't see it. Yeah. Oh, you guys are not on a full screen, that's why. You have to put it all the way on the side up here. Cause... So, saying circle, circles make sense, right? I'm going in circles, 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 all the way down. And then I go really slow around the cuticles just to make sure I don't do anything crazy around there. look at it from both angle it looks good from this angle and that angle looks good i'm gonna move on to the thumb okay look how wide this shape is i'm gonna taper in for you guys to see with my drill bit uh my dremel okay oh yeah, keep moving me, Shauna. Dawn is asking, what speed is your e-file at? 1500. I'm trying to move it so she's not sitting on full screen. You can see it too. 1500 RPM. I will definitely start trying to use the circular motion at an angle with my next client. Uh, somebody, Stephanie asked, what grit is the bit and what speed is the e-file on? What grit is this? What kind this of is, bid is she using? Uh, oh yeah, this is the five in one cross bit for uh, from not polished. This is a coarse bit. This is more of a coarse bit. Look at this shape, guys. You see that? I went from super square to super taper. That was fast too, right? Imagine hand filing this down. Look at that. You see the difference? Yes. What would you charge for something like this? With bling or without bling? Without bling, I would say at least $100. Mm -hmm. With bling, depending on how much bling. Because we're charging for the length as well, okay guys? Look at the length. 
These are hella long. Fiona right, said, yeah. Fiona said, I love your tips with a very minimum C curve. Your products are the best. Uh, Nails by T said, I'm a beginner need nail tech and I have an e-file where I can use a standing band. Can I taper the size down with the 180 standing band or do I need a coarse bit like the one you have? Definitely try it with the standing band. Uh, somebody asked, did you ever switch the direction on your e-file? No, because I'm, um, so I'm, I'm left, I'm right-handed, so I always have it going one direction. Circle of motion, circular, circle, circle, circle. Am I out of frame? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys are like um, really um, nervous with the Dremel, you can use the sand and band. After you guys done shape it, I mean, um, smoothing out the top of the nails already, you can use your sand and band and just lightly taper in the side of the nails. What should we draw on here, Shauna? What do you like? Mm. Does anybody have any suggestions? <laughs> <laughs> what should we do, guys? For some reason, it's really hard for me to stick with my plan of what I want to do. I always end up wanting to change it. Am I in frame? No. Well, well yeah, but I'm trying to get in frame like this. Oh, okay. Because some people don't do full screen, so we're going to try to in frame it from the top. Yeah, right there's perfect. Okay. You keep moving me, okay? To wherever you like. Okay. That looks pretty straight, huh? It does. Yeah, so I let my Dremel do most of my shaping. So now I'm just going to lightly go over and shape her nails. Uh, pink hearts and outline them with whites. I always look from this angle as well to make sure it's straight. Pink hearts? Mm. Maybe that airbrush effect hearts. I do have an airbrush machine, but I think we're going to skip out on that. Okay. Those new line art gel paints. Everybody loves the gel art. Oh, do you guys check out the glitter? Oh, we did a glitter swatch on Facebook earlier today. Did you guys watch it? That was amazing. That was fun. Uh, Yana, Yanin asks, what is your estimated time of work for a nail set? Um, we talked about this earlier on our Facebook Live and a lot of people said two and a half hours to three hours, maybe more, depending on the kind of set and length that you got. Mm -hmm. So the average, I'd say two, two and a half, two and a half hours. Yeah, two and a half hours, two to two and a half hours. Um, somebody asked, do you buff every time? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Do you buff every time or no? Why not? Why not? <laughs> it just make the nail more smooth, I guess. Ah, oh, we have Hi Nakata from Amsterdam. Wow. Amsterdam. What time is it in Amsterdam? Mm -hmm. Lisa said buffing is key. Buffing is key. I think buffing it, it only requires such minimum, like it doesn't take a long time. I think we should not skip buffing. You know what I really want to skip in? I, I really want to skip if I could. Shaping. Yes. <laughs> can we can we start a movement on that? 
for get shaping. It is 1.45 in the morning. Ah, <gasps> you up this late? I always flip the client's hand and look at it from this angle as well. At the, at the other angle to make sure it's all nice and smooth. I'm just gonna give it a little bit, a nice little tap at the end. Are you guys doing any press on nails at where you at? Are you guys doing any of those? I have been loving doing the press on nails. I should do for your next set, Shauna. Press on nails? Mm-hmm. You just press it on? Gel extensions press on nails. Is it easy? Super easy, super fun to do, and Wait, super do durable. I think you can do it. Yeah, you can do it at home. Do you do nail forms or do you sculpt? Tips. Takes me a long, long time to do form, guys. So I'd rather not. Do you guys do form or you guys do tips? Buff it nice and smooth. Okay, so we're going to do some line works on this. Everybody uses tips. Some people do both, though. Do what? Uh, sculpt or forms and mm -hmm. tips. Yeah. It's good to have both under your belt. Someone said forms last longer. Hmm. Reforms do take longer. Yeah, it does take too long. I like the look of it too. It looks very nice. I guess, you know, with whatever that you do a lot of, you get faster at it. And because I don't do a lot of form, so maybe that's why I take a little bit longer to do it. As people that does form, a lot more often than me they can um, knock it down a lot faster than I can okay that's it off for me real quick so we're gonna do some line work on her nails Okay, can you guys see pretty well? So, of course, you know, usually we would have her hand, wash her hands to get all the dust off, but we're not gonna do that. Let's go in. And anytime that I'm doing line work, I always, always, always put a matte top coat on the nail. Okay, guys, always put a matte top coat. Matted top coat. Man, I need a new um, bottle. I really wore this one down. I put a thin layer of the matted top coat. What kind of dust brush is that? <laughs> Somebody asked. Really? Um, that's not a dust brush. That's a chrome brush. Go ahead. Chrome or pigment. I, uh, we don't, I don't know if we still have these. So this is for the chrome end. And this is for like dusting pigments and stuff on top of it. But I use it as a duster because, um, look at this. Because I am not having her wash her hand. And that's the only duster I have. Let me cover up that dust. 
you struggle with chrome well the trick to doing chrome is all about in your gel light say if you so first thing you need is like um what do you call a non not uh, a non-cleansing gel top right that's what we need oh i have to, i want to show you guys something first this is the gel liner but we have to show you guys the um the glitter where's the glitter where's the glitter i don't know if i show I, I think some of you guys saw this earlier the liner gel kit in the glitter collection Oh, what was I saying? Oh, chrome, chrome. <laughs> Let's check this out. So when working with chrome, it has a lot to do with your gel light, okay? Say if your gel light is too, it's not, it's too weak, and you end up under curing your gel, then the chrome will look very, very, very um, dull when you brush it on. But if your gel light is really, really strong and you end up over curing the chrome, what happened is, I'm just showing off my glitter. What happened is when you over cure the gel, the chrome actually won't stick at all. It, it's like rubbing a, a chrome on top of a mirror finish. It's, it just won't stick. So the trick to doing chrome is finding the right cure time for your gel lamp. You know, some gel lamp takes, it's a lot stronger, so you need to cure it for like only 10 seconds. Some gel lamp is a lot weaker. You got to cure it for like 15 seconds. So some gel lamp requires only five second cure, cure time. So it's just finding the right amount of cure time for each lamp is the tricky part. Once you get that down, then you can rub on your chrome super super easy and how can you um and uh when you guys are about to do chrome i would look look how beautiful this glitter is oh my gosh that was nice and then when you guys are about to do chrome i suggest you test on one finger first put a thin layer of gel top coat on and then cure it you should cure about 10 seconds and if you rub on the chrome, it's too um, too dull. That means you need to keep it a little bit, keep it, cure it a little bit longer. If you rub it on and it doesn't stick, that means it's over cure. You need to cure it a little bit less time. Does that make sense? Sometimes I go on a rambling page and I tend to forget stray away from the. Uh, oops. I tend to forget the um, the question, but I hope I answer that pretty well for you. How you guys like this? So nice, especially when you put your phone light on it. Ooh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference because this is not reflected. <laughs> <laughs> but you still see the glitter. What do you guys think of this glitter? So. Did I answer your question? I don't want to do pink because that's super close to the pink that I have. Let's do green. What's everybody's favorite color for these gel liners? A lot of people liked blue earlier. The green was a definite winner pink all of them all of them are like really pretty isn't that cute this is a new bling it on i mean no a new um try and make sure you guys see all that gel liner art isn't that pretty look how pigmented they are Do you sell overseas? Um, no, not right now, not yet. It really, it's really tough going through, you know, the custom and all that 
border. Okay, let's wipe this off. You see how it doesn't run? When you put a, a matte top coat on top, uh, on the bottom before you paint on your gel art. Mm -hmm. You see how you, how my line, the, it just stays right there. It does not run anywhere. That's the key, guy. That's the trick. That's the tr the tips of the day. Add your matte coat first before applying the gel glitter liner. Or any gel liner, actually. Hmm. All right, let's do um, pink. Pink or white? Pink or white? Pink or white, guys? Pink line or white? I got pink over this side. Let me see. Let me see your other hand. We got pink on this hand. Let me wipe that rhinestone off. Pink or white? Pink. A lot of people are saying pink. Okay, pink it is. Some one person said white or pink and white. <gasps> pink and white. Okay, okay. I think this pink is a little bit dark. It's a little bit Ooh. dark. Oh shoot, it's dripping. It's a little bit darker pink. So I'm gonna dilute it down to make some white in it to make it more of like a baby pink. So okay, guys, you don't need to buy a ton of color. You just buy one set and then you can just mix it to any kind of shades you guys want. Right, Shauna? Yes. White. Now we're getting the white. The people with white. Oh, now you guys want white? You said pink. Oh, it reminds um, me of Valentine's Day. I said that earlier. <laughs> you guys said pink, and now you guys said white. And now you guys said pink and white. You guys are getting greedy on me. You should do an autumn fall set soon. Somebody said that? Yes. Yeah, sure. What color? Uh, Deja also asked, how do you keep your hands so steady? Stabilize it with the index with the other hand. How you, you see my ring finger? on my right hand it's always almost gripping onto my other hand and one long stroke one long stroke Kevin said, I would love to see a real fall set soon, too. And Bonita also asked, any new giveaways soon? <laughs> We're not even done with the one that's on a page right now. <laughs> Always hang on to your bottle. Or when are you guys announcing the giveaway winner? Um, soon, I think. How much pressure do you use on your brush? Barely any pressure. It's like a feather. Like a feather. Yes. And also, what size brush were you using? That was our art brush, XL art brush.
Okay, pink and white. Very cute, very simple. Nice. And then the glitter sugar effect. Sprinkle it on top. And then I'm flicking on my thumb, not her finger, okay? You guys like that? So pretty. Um, I'm gonna do this line real quick. One long stroke. One line, one long stroke. Dolly said stunning. Jai said simply gorgeous. Thank Deja you. says so gorgeous. Trisha said yes, it's stunning. Uh, Funky Dakota White Face says fire, fire, fire. Emoji. <laughs> Thank you guys. That was very sweet oh, of you guys. Okay, I'm going to cure that real quick. Go ahead. And I got all this paint on me. The life of a real nail artist. So look how, so this is the brush that I'm using. Someone said, wow, I aspire to be this good, but for now I'm working with poly gel. Oh, how you like poly gel? Mm. I don't really work with poly gel. It's I think it's um really similar to gel builder, huh? Come on. Let's dust this off real quick. How do you clean nail art brushes? I ooh, look at this. So with any nail art brush that I'm using, I don't really clean it with anything beside. So after I'm done, I just take a really a good piece of paper towel and whatever paint I have on there, I just simply go in and just wipe it off like this. I don't ever soak it in any solution or anything like that. And I just put it back in the thing. I don't soak it in any acetone, any um, brush cleaner or anything like that. Just give it a good, nice swipe. Does it not dry out your does it not dry your brush out? No, actually cleaning with solution will dry out your brush. Eventually will dry out your brush. I'm gonna give her a little bit of rhinestone along this edge right here. So this bling it on collection comes with this um rhinestone glue as well. This is a non cleansing gel. Glue. Yeah, so I don't really soak my art brush in anything besides just give it a good swipe. What about you guys? Do you guys clean your brush? Hmm. Waiting for a response. Uh, Tanisha said yes. And also, how do you prevent lift lifting? Uh, some people said yes with acetone. Okay, you can. I mean, you can clean with acetone, but over time, I feel like that is um, really, it dries out my brush. So, I mean, it's all preference, I guess. I don't. And I don't find, like, the need it needs to either someone said what we did back in the days is after cleaning put a little vaseline 
or never to keep the brush hair in good shape. Hmm? Are the nail art brushes double sided? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think so. It is double sided. Hi, Sydney. Hi, Sydney. How oh, you like this rhinestone, Shauna? I love it. It's cute, huh? What do you guys think? This is my favorite nail. Yeah? I love it. And these are the rhinestones from the new rhinestone collection. Yep, it comes with the smaller rhinestone as well. So it can fill in any tiny little gap that we need it to. Mm -hmm. Deja asked, how do you decide the placement? I always do the same thing or it looks off. <laughs> I literally wing it. <laughs> she just puts it on. I just I just sure. I just literally put it on and if it doesn't look good, sometimes I do end up wiping it off. But the good thing is these rhinestones do not cost so much money that I don't feel bad for when I do it. But yeah, I think having an idea on how to place it on first really really helps. But you guys can see how I like to do things. I like to do things on the spot. Clearly because my nails always seem like I just do it on the spot as well. I don't recommend doing that way because, you know, for one, time consuming. Two, that's wasteful. So if you guys are not really um, comfortable with doing it like that, I don't think you should either. It's wasteful, it's time consuming, so mm -hmm. should come up with a plan before you guys do. Uh, someone asks, does the glitter keep falling off after it's cured or stays on? The glitter stays on. Do not put a top coat on top of the glitter because that kind of defeats the purpose of the glitter sugar effect, right? Mm -hmm. Well, of course, with anything, it's wear and tear. So with the glitter, it does get... um. It does lose some of it, some of the glitter, but you know, just like with anything, you, the more you wear it, the more you're gonna lose it. What do you guys think so far of this set? I love it. Um, Audrey asked, or Audrey said, I have the number 12 brush and I guess I didn't clean it right after I use it, so now it's hard. How do I clean it to where it won't mess up the bristles? soak it in monomer yeah every time um tao always soaks her brushes in monomer before she starts yeah because sometimes a lot of time um i'm in a hurry at the end of the day so i don't really clean my brush really well and i will have product stuck on it and before i start on a set of nail while i'm prepping the nails and stuff like that i would have the brush soak in monomer and you know depend on how much is stuck on the brushes sometimes it'll just kind of melt off and sometimes i actually have to soak it in monomer and get in my paper towel out and kind of wipe on it and clean it off and then soak a little bit more wipe it down it depends on how Thank you. on how bad i um I mess it up. Uh -huh. Look Another at this question. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, how do you apply your gel top coat? Because I get weird little holes in mine after I apply it. Oh, what you get weird little hole is because there's air bubbles while you applying your product, right? Mm. So there's air bubble, and you might not. You probably didn't see it. So when you go, oh, no move. When you go to file it, it's um now you have all these little tiny holes and i think when you get to that point of already put on the top coat and you have all these tiny little holes um you can really uh, you can buff it out and put on a top coat on top of it or i would just go over directly on top of that nail with another thin layer of top coat just to cover up the holes because i mean we don't want to take it all off right mm -hmm. all right 
how do you come up with their freestyle? Um, I have trouble coming up with stuff on my own sometimes as well as the same thing with my crystal placement. Okay, so I'm gonna put a clear top coat on the bottom of this nail because it's a clear nail. Well, um, freestyle. So technically I just did a freestyle with you guys right now. I think because I'm more comfortable with my nail. So when I go live, I can actually ask you guys like, hey, what should I do on this nail? And whatever you guys say, I actually um, do it. You know, I can come up with something real quick because um, I do a lot of nails. So, but if I don't have people that I can ask, what should I do on the nails? What I like to do is actually look at other artists and get inspiration from their um, their artwork. You know, it's, it's, go ahead, flip your hand around, make sure, yeah, so flip your hand around. So it's not like copying, I'm just bouncing ideas of other artists. And um, that's how you learn, you know, because we do, like, my mind is so, is vast with ideas, but sometimes it does get, like, stuck with limited, like, design. And I need ideas to um, come up with work, so that's how I do it, is I look at other artists' work and i just kind of like oh i like this little flower on this nail but i don't like the rest of it so i'll look around and say oh i like this nail from this set and i just kind of like get like picture from five different set of nails and then mm -hmm. make it into my own design bouncing off all those ideas does that make sense yes have you tried the trinity silicone french tip pack um yeah um no you know what i actually wanted to do that but i don't have any silicone um yeah i don't have any silicone um stick thing so i really want to i actually real i love new ideas and stuff and i really want to but i don't have the silicone have you guys tried it Oh, and where can we buy these crystals on Not Polish? Notpolish.com for all the crystals, guys. Look how shiny this top coat is. It's beautiful. This is the glossed top coat from Not Polish. Look how clear this clear is. Look at this stone. So, this stone is only like a hundred and something, I'm not sure, but look at this. You guys like this? Let's check out the thumb. Let's check out the cuticles. Let's not look at my nail. How do you get the sides of the nail so sharp and straight? This right here? When you guys put on a top coat, make sure you guys give it a little swipe so you don't lose the shape of the nail. Boom, boom, swipe. So I think my next live, I should just go on here, prep the nails and, um, I should just go on here, prep the nails, and have you guys pick out the color and the design on the spot and see what I can come up with. Yeah? Does that sound good? Yes. That way we can like bounce ideas off each other. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? You guys so like this set? Pretty. Cute. All right, guys, I think that's it for today. And look at us. We got good internet today. Oh, somebody also asked, can you do press on with acrylic next time? Um, I mean, not like full length acrylic, maybe an acrylic overlay on her natural nails and then do the press on, but not like I can't do press on on. Um, I can't do press on on these you know i can't really press on on these nails so all right guys that's it for today and um thank you for watching with me and next time we should um talk about more about random stuff <laughs> till next time till next time bye guys bye. how do i end this live uh, where is it at <laughs> where is the end button where